Hi everybody, we're going to introduce a new product today. It's called the Shimawada Cap. Um, so the Shimawada Cap is named after uh, the designer that I collaborated with on this product, uh, Shimawada-san. So Shimawada-san is a bespoke hat maker based in Tokyo. He has a bespoke hat company called Crown Clown and he makes great stuff. I own a bunch of his hats. Um, you know, he does everything. He does like fedoras, he does straw hats, but he also does flat caps, berets, all that sort of stuff too. Now, um, you know, when I wear a hat, especially a soft hat like this, I wear it because I didn't put any hair product in my hair and I don't want my hair to be a mess. I just want to cover it up, keep it out of my eyes, and that's it. And oftentimes what I find myself doing, and you might even have noticed when you see me in the store on a casual day, um, is I will just take whatever hat I have and turn it backwards. Because you know when you're indoors and you're working, you don't really want that brim to be like in your eyes like that. Um, but sometimes like wearing a hat backwards uh, looks maybe a little too disheveled, you know, a little like not dressy enough. Uh, so I wanted to work with Shimoada-san to come up with something that just felt a little bit more put together. Right, so something that was like a cross between a flat cap and an eight panel, and an eight panel hat, like a newspaper boy hat sort of thing. Uh, and this is working out with it. The Shimonawata cap is an eight panel design. It's got a soft brim, and it's actually relatively deep on the back as well. So the idea is, as I'm wearing it right now, you can wear it backwards. And the back part of it won't like stick out this way. You know, it doesn't look so much like a duck's bill. Um, and you can also wear it forwards. See, like, I didn't put any product in my hair today. So eventually that's going to get in my eyes. It's going to get kind of annoying. So it's great to be able to just slip that on and get it out of the way. If I was to wear it forwards, it looks like this. Oops. Got a mirror here, so I got to, like, a quick check. There we go. That's how it looks forwards. And you know, it's great. Like, it's an outdoor hat. It's an everyday hat. Um, but if you're indoors and you want something that can help keep the hair out of your eyes and just kind of imitate your hairline a little bit, um, I really like it. I think it's a really good option. Because, you know, it's quite compact here around the sides of the head, too. We did it currently in two different colors. Um, so we used a cotton pique fabric from Japan, and we have it in this kind of royal blue color. And we also have it in this mushroom color. They're both good. Um, I, I like the fact that the blue adds kind of this pop of color to the top of your head. And I think, especially as sunnier weather rolls around, uh, it could be a really nice option. When, we put, when I put these on, I was trying to like slightly off-center it, but not too much, and then not let it ride too high up your head, because it always looks like you have a massive forehead. Um, so there you go. The Shimawada cap, check it out. It's kind of a new thing. I don't think anyone's really done anything like it. Uh, but if you're like me and you like wearing a hat, um, especially for kind of practical reasons, you could find it a really useful addition to your wardrobe. So there you go. Uh, let me know what you think. It'd be great to hear if you guys wear hats uh, for this particular reason or if you just enjoy hats in general. That's it. Thanks for watching.